since I really didn't like the little colors on my figure, I decided I'm going to practice upgrading it. So this is a little piece of silver that I've been doing, and we're going to see how this all turns out. I've got the folk art metallics, I've got a matte brown for shading, and we're going to try to keep this as real as possible. I already see that the legs are much improved. Just one simple coat. Okay, so what I'm doing here is something that I read about online um, to make something look like it's cloth. So they have these matte plastic pieces on the figures that are um, really flat and they don't have a lot of texture to them. So paint, painting it with a gloss would make it. Um, basically just look like a glossy piece of metal. So what I'm doing here is following the instructions. I've got my little pottery tool and I put a layer of uh, glaze, which is like watch podge, onto this and I'm kind of stroking it to make it look like cloth. Then I'm going to paint over it and then distress it to hopefully make it look like it has a little more texture. shield, we aged it a little bit, made it look rough and used. Got the back here, as you see I textured the tabard so it looks more like cloth, definitely aged the legs and silver. definition on the textures. The thing is on the matte figure, all these textures you see, I didn't add any of them. They're actually cast into the model. So they were made to be painted. That's my theory. Here we've got our regular guy here. Just a good comparison side by side. Regular guy shoulder. Not regular guy. Regular guy shield. New shield. Thanks for watching. <laughs>